What's up, guys? Prince Sports here, man. I want to talk about the NBA media at it again. I don't know why they're pushing this Giannis to Lakers thing. You know, now you see all over the media, you see all over these news feeds, uh, Bleacher Report, etc. You see all these um, sports articles on Giannis. Says he wants to play with LeBron and AD. I don't know why y'all in the media are pushing that narrative for, man. It's not good for the NBA. It's not something that a lot of people want to see. Who cares about Giannis wanting to play with AD and LeBron James? How is that good? You got three of the top five players all on one team. That's supposed to be good basketball. You know, we want to see competitive basketball. I'd rather see Giannis play against LeBron than play with him, to be honest with you. But I like what Giannis did, man. He, he brainwashed and he fooled and toyed around with the media. He gave them exactly what they deserve to have. Um, they asked him, you know, what if, oh, how would you feel about playing with LeBron, AD, and, um, you know, those guys? And he says, um, cool, if they come to the Milwaukee Bucks, you know, if I get to be number one, I'm cool with them coming to the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, Giannis, in his right mind, knows that Kevin Durant, AD, and LeBron James, neither one of those guys will go to Milwaukee to play. All right. So he knows that. So out of spite, I believe he said those comments that he said, you know. So this ensures you right now that he's going to sign that max contract with the Milwaukee Bucks, I believe. And, you know, he's going to just try to win a chip by staying with that team. He's going to pull the dirk. Probably he could stay with that franchise for X amount of years, which is good for the game of basketball. I think it's good. You know, not everybody deserves to win a championship, you know, um, if everybody's just teaming up and everybody wins a championship every other year, it's not competitive anymore. It's not fun. It takes away the, the law of winning a championship and championships will lose their value if everybody's teaming up with each other. It's not fun. It's not great product. OK, um, especially top players all teaming up together. It's just not fun. You know, now you get guys like LeBron James that gave players, excuse me, players this power. Um, power um power moves you know uh empowerment basically that's biggest legacy lebron will leave behind you know the political stuff and the player empowerment and he definitely gave that to Giannis because remember Giannis said his idol is lebron james and i said this many times ago that Giannis looked up to lebron james all right so this gives perfect insight to why guys like Giannis won't surpass LeBron James or probably even beat LeBron James in their lifetime because the same level of respect Giannis has for LeBron, LeBron has for Michael Jordan. You know, it's, it's just how basketball goes. You know, you always look up to the guys that came before you and almost out the door. And LeBron James is almost out the door. His legacy is almost um, engraved. And, you know, that's that, you know, but I just don't understand why the media keeps pushing for that. And I just think it's completely stupid. And shout out to Giannis for, you know, seeing all these games that the media plays along with, plays along. And, you know, he toying back with them. He's trolling to meet the media and what what's makes sense. You know, um, I like to see that he does that. So put it like this. If you got a guy like Giannis, right? I don't think he's the type that wants to form a super team, but if it happened, if these plays happen to come to him, I mean, that'd be a little different story, you know, but I mean, it's not, he could do about it. If the, another player wants to come to a franchise, it's not as, it's, it's like, it's like, you know, he doesn't own the buck. So he can't tell the owner of the buck. Hey, don't sign this guy. Don't sign that guy. You know? So, that's a little bit out of his hands, but at the end of the day, I still don't think Giannis is the type that looks for looks to play with super teams, you know. So all the all the media going crazy, thinking that this is this is their chance for Giannis to join LeBron James and um, Anthony Davis. No, I don't think that's even remotely what he said. I think he was just trying to twist his words around, you know. And then they say, then he goes on to say, oh. I take a reprising role, you know, 
in winning a championship. You know, basically he's saying, hey, if more talent comes to my team, if I had to make a sacrifice, I'm going to do it. Because he that's what Kobe said to him that he, he claims. He claims Kobe told him, hey, um, in order to win, sometimes you have to make a sacrifice. Um, that's not what Kobe initially meant. He didn't meant making a sacrifice by going to join a super team. Now, that's not in Kobe's blood to think about joining super teams. You know, he meant by making a sacrifice, by changing your game a little bit, you know, um, you know, um, trusting your teammates a little more, things of that nature, you know, trying to build them up or um, develop with your players. Because Giannis has a lot of flaws within himself. He has to learn how to shoot. He has to learn how to block that wall. A lot of teams in the playoffs, they put that wall. Giannis becomes forced to becomes a playmaker. He, he either has to shoot a mid-range shot or a three or pass the ball out for somebody else to bail him out and shoot a shot because he's just not a shooter like that. So you got to look at it like that. But I want to see Giannis develop into a, more of an elite player, a more of an elite scorer, a better shooter. And I think by going to a super team was shorten his growth. For sure, it was shorten his growth, you know? He's never going to be a playmaker like LeBron James. So the best thing for him to do is to increase his scoring value. Become a great two-way player, a defensive player, and a scorer. That's your best options to develop as a basketball player. And you're not going to get that by playing with a super team. It kind of hampers your um, ability to perform. But anyway, Prince Sports out. Peace.